the part we're doing right now is our launch lug and the launch lug all it is is just another little thin cylinder and this is a uh, will be made of just a plastic straw when we actually build the rocket let's go ahead and begin minimize create a new part bring my new part up go ahead and change the options unit to right here inches the value four decimal places looking good now it's time to save this will be called launch lug and since I already have a launch lug I'm gonna go ahead and name mine number two you can just leave yours launch lug save all right now we got a black our blank uh, graphics area let's start a new sketch In this case we're going to be using a circle on the front mm, excuse me top plane let's use the top plane I'm again drawing my circle in uh, next let's do a dimension the diameter of this circle is going to be 3 sixteenths of an inch very small let's turn it up there we go use, I like that button in case you missed that that was the normal 2 button rotates and zooms the model to view orientation normal to the selected plane which was the top plane so that looked great I'm going to actually see if I can bring this in some sometimes a little hard to get a hold of there we go now I'm going to do an offset, which we've done before. Offset entities. This is the entity to offset. No, nope, don't want to go out. I want to go in. So let me reverse. And the value is way too large. We're going to do 0 .005. So a very small, very thin offset. Check. Everything's black, showing it's fully defined. It says right here, fully defined. So this is a very thin wall cylinder. Exit to sketch. Do our features. Extrusion. How high do we make this? 1.5 inches. Looks very nice. Check. Now this part right here is going to be on the outside of our rocket, so we're not going to make this one transparent. We're going to go ahead and make this a shiny color, and we're going to use these pink right here. Actually, I'm going to use this top one, this top pink. That looks good. Check. I'm going to check this one without the lines around the shaded area. That looks good. Now you might notice that the end of it right here looks a little dark and the end of that one looks a little light. SolidWorks does that so you can figure out which one's the top and which one's the bottom. So that is correct. It isn't like you uh, accidentally left that white or anything. No, that's fine. That's correct. Okay, we've got the uh, launch lug done. Let me save. On to the next part. Um, I think we're about ready for assembly soon.